Oh, nice. Oh, good save. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Um, Rave Ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So in today's video, we're heading into the Northern Premier League Division 1 East and we're heading off to Skinner Lane for Pontefract Collieries versus Cleethorpes Town. So in today's video, I've got my thoughts pre and post match as well as the match day vlog itself. And with it being a new ground on the channel, we're going to rate the ground. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So if I could ask a huge favour from you all, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Whether you're an old or new viewer, any support is greatly appreciated by me and goes a long way to helping the channel grow. Let's aim for 30 likes on this video. And also, I've been nominated for a Football Content Award for Best in a Non-League Video. So, if you could do me a huge favour, please, if you click on the first link in the description box, that'll take you to the voting page. If you go down to a Non-League category, go to the video section and click the drop-down box and select Adam Gittings for best in a non-league video. It takes about 20 seconds to do, and any help is really appreciated by me. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get into my pre-match thoughts. So I think the best place to start off here is with the table. So after eight games, Pontefract Collar is the home team. Currently found themselves in 14th place out of 22 teams after two wins, four draws, and two defeats. Whereas Cleethorpe's Town have only played seven games so far, but they do sit in seventh place in the table after four wins, two draws, and a single defeat. So Pontefract's last result was a goalless draw at home to top of the table. Emily, so... Currently, as of now, they haven't won in five games in all competitions. However, three of them have been draws, so they've only lost two of them games. And it's a bit of an inconsistent season for Pontefract at the minute. Um, like I say, they have only had two defeats all season, but um, you know they have had a lot of draws, four draws in total. So it's kind of been one of them. They've just not really got going yet. They're not really in any trouble of getting dragged into... Um, relegation trouble in my opinion but we're not quite doing enough to pressure those above them yet and as for Cleethorpe Town their last game was in the FA Trophy where they had a one all draw away at AFC Telford and then lost by five goals to four on penalties to the team a step above and in the last league game uh, they lost 4-1 at home to Dunstan so they've had a lot of cup games recently Cleethorpe's um in from September onwards, uh, they've had seven games and five of them have been in cup competitions. Uh, so that's obviously the FA Cup, the FA Trophy, and uh, the Link Lincolnshire Cup as well. Um, they've been doing before that. We're doing really well in the league. Like I say, they've went unbeaten through August in the league. Uh, they've only played two games since then uh, in the league because the others have been cups. Um, and it's one of them. It's hard, it must be hard to get going. Like when you've got got to stop for cup games all the time, you can't really put a you know any consistency together in the league and you're kind of playing catch up a bit but nevertheless we're doing a pretty good job at the minute to uh you know hold seventh place down and i'm sure like i say once for cup games uh out of the way they want to be pushing on in the league so when these teams met last season uh Pontefract won the game at clee forbes by a goal two nil and then in the return game at skinner lane it was a two all draw so i think that brings me nicely on to my prediction for tonight's game and so a Pontefract going to get uh, the first win in six games or a Cleethorpe's going to continue their push towards the playoffs. My prediction is, I think Cleethorpe's going to do it here. Um, I know, like I say, the last league game was a tough loss to another team who's fancied to be up there, Dunstan. But, um, you know, nevertheless, uh, they're still going well in the league. They'll want to really keep some pressure on the teams in the playoffs. Uh, I think Ponty will be up for this as well. But I'm going to go for a Cleethorpe's win here. I'm going to go Pontefract, Colliers 1, Cleethorpe's Town. Two. Anyway, that is it for my pre-match thoughts then. So this is actually the closest ground in the top 10 tiers of English football that I have not done yet, which is ground number 131 in total. And it's been a bit of a crazy one <laughs> for which game I was going to go to, to be fair. Um, originally, it was meant to be Rosso versus Swinton Athletic, but Swinton couldn't field a team, so Rosso got a walkover in the Sheffield Nelms Cup to the next round. And then it was going to be Yorkshire Amateur versus Glass Out and Welfare, but... I've had a bit of issue with my car. Uh, it's nothing too serious, but it does need looking at. Um, so I can't drive to Leeds today. So luckily my dad's coming along. He's going to drive and we're doing a nice short one to Pontefra. It's kind of been one of them grounds which has never felt right for, you know, going there. So I am glad I finally get to go there uh, today. So I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a very good game. Um, so I think it's time to make our way down there then. So without further ado, let's head on down to Skinner Lane and see how today's game goes.
Uh, run away. Oh, thing is, though, he got the ball. But every tackle, but he did get the ball. See what it does here. It's a yellow. I think it's right corner, an hard tackle, but he got ball. And at night. What? It's a blow for her. Oh, foul. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus. Basketball. <laughs> what were going to say? Did you get yellow before that? Yeah. I going to say. Ponte is down to 10 now. <laughs> Russia board, I think. Not as if it's anywhere near goal. No, it? that's the thing. <laughs> I were in office when. Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh. Oh. Great oh. I thought it was off. Oh, yeah. Straight from kick off here. Oh. Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> it's one of them years ago. Even when you've not gone for a piss or drink years again. <laughs> you miss it. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Oh, good save. Oh, no, he's missed it. No, have a have you done Newark Town? Oh. I have, yeah. Okay. Wouldn't go that shit. Oh, not one on the single track, 21-10. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's that one. Winning late, mate. Not to March. Oh. 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 Dumbo. Oh. Oh. No way. He didn't go in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, couldn't tell why it was, it's a bit deceiving for me. What's up with United playing? 
Uh, chance of 3-0. Yeah, no problem at all there. Okay, so it's now the next day, and at full time it finished. Pontefract Collar is nil at Cleethorpe Town at three, and that game had a bit of everything to be fair. Plenty of goals, plenty of instants. Um, certainly wasn't boring. Uh, put it that way, it was a really entertaining game of football, and I've really enjoyed the night. To be fair, um, like I say, early on when most of the decisions happened, uh, first of all you had that tackle uh, within the first ten minutes, and I'll be honest, originally I, I said a yellow, and I, I'd, I'd agree with that. To be fair. It's an hard one. Like I say, I'm not a qualified referee or anything like that. Uh, I'm just a football fan. Uh, but I do know it's kind of like, it's not only, like I say, winning the ball, it's the force you're going with. It went in with a lot of force, but I don't feel like it was anything absolutely over the top. Um, I feel like a yellow's pretty justified, to be fair. Like I say, he won the ball, got the ball cleanly, uh, but it was, you know, we a fair bit of force and, um, you know, uh, aggression ball. I wouldn't say enough. To warrant a red card in my opinion and uh, then you've got the handball instant which he's already been booked it's it's clear what's going to happen and it's been a bit of a bonkers decision to be fair we're nowhere near golf we weren't really too much danger um just a bit of you know rush of blood to the head i think um and yeah that's all i could really say on that but yeah clee forbes took the lead and you kind of felt like that had been coming however i did think pontefract battled really well because like i say we were up against it against a good clee forbes team with 10 men and you know they could have easily took the lead as well themselves, but um, I think Cleethorpe's did play the better football, um, and you know, they took the lead. At first, I thought it were offside. Looking back, it were very, very close, um, so it's, it is hard to tell, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, they took the lead, and that was that for half-time, and then the second half, uh, like I say, Ponty's still battling away. Keeper made, I think it were at least three one-on-one -on -one saves. He really used his body well, to be fair. He looked a very good keeper, and um, yeah, um, Clee Forbes got another two goals. Um, first one not too long after half time, and then a penalty as well. Um, and yeah, for um, Clee Forbes deserved it. To be fair, credit to Ponte. Ponte, they really did battle to the end. They put in a really, you know, a good performance in all honesty. Uh, which came up against a very good Clee Forbes team, and when we've got an extra man as well added on top of that. It's always going to be a difficult job. So, yep, enjoy my visit to uh, Pontefract tonight. Um, last night, sorry, it has been uh, a good one all in all. So, I suppose all that's left to do is rate the ground. Okay, so it's time for rate the ground. So, if you're new to the channel, what we do is each time we visit a new ground uh, in the season, we give them a rating on five categories. So, we've got pre match, the catering, the ground, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment. Each category is getting a score out of five. A total score out of 25, and they'll put them into a table of all the other grounds we've been to this season. Each score is going to be based on the level that it's at. So this is uh, step four, or the eighth tier of English football. So we're going to be comparing it to that. So uh, this time it's the turn of Pontefract Collieries. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and rate the ground. Okay, we'll start with pre-match fence. What is there to do before the game? So we're non-league. This is mainly going to be the clubhouse. And Pontefract's got a nice clubhouse for fair. It looks pretty new, I think. I've heard somewhere we've had a new stand and uh, clubhouse not too long ago, and it's looking good to be fair. Plenty of space, uh, plenty of seats as well, and I think there's a few pubs nearby as well, so yeah, pretty good all in all to be fair. Uh, plenty of space, like I say, around the ground as well, uh, if you don't want to go in the clubhouse. So yeah, uh, pretty good I'd say, uh, so it's going to get a 3 out of 5 for pre-match. Next up, we have got the catering, and um, I didn't eat at the game, but I always make sure I look at the food and look at the menu as well, and 
I'll be honest, the food looked really, really good. Uh, the double bacon and cheese burger were really cool in my name, but I had already eaten. Uh, so I had to give that one a miss today. But lots of choice of food, lots of choice of drink as well. They've come in a nice personalised plastic uh, Pontrat uh, cup, which um, you get a £2 deposit if you give it back. Um, so yeah, plenty of choice, plenty of food, decent prices as well, and uh, all the staff were friendly. And a really good service. So can't really say anything bad about it, to be honest with you. It's going to get a four and a half out of five. Next up we've got the ground, and I like this ground to be fair, there's a lot of good grounds at this level, uh, but yeah, I really like this one. Um, it's got, like I say, it's got a new clubhouse and a new main stand, and then you've got like an old terrace behind the goal and an older stand uh, at the side as well, so it's kind of a mixture of old and new, and it re works really well to be fair. Uh, and then on the opposite side you've got the dugouts and uh, just a railing. And uh, kind of the same behind the other goal. Um, I quite like this, to be fair. Um, you know, there's not loads, but I think what we've got is very good. Um, so, yeah, decent for this level. I'm going to go three out of five. Next, all got atmosphere and credit to the Pontefract fans and the Cleeforts fans, to be fair. Uh, they made it a decent atmosphere. There were, there were quite a few chants. Uh, you know, quite a lively game when challenges were going in and stuff like that. And there were chances it were getting quite noisy. Um, yeah, pretty good, all in all. So, uh, especially for this level, I'm going to go for a four out of five. And finally, we've got overall enjoyment. I've watched a good game of football, seen three goals, plenty of... Um, you know, we're contagious decisions, um, and it's been a good day of, overall, you know, seeing people who are new down there, having a good chat, and um, yeah, watching a good game of football at a new ground, cannot complain at all, it's going to get a 3.5 out of 5. So this gives Pontefract Colliers a total score of 18 out of 25, which puts them into ninth place in the table, sandwiched in between at Stamford and at Grimsby Town, so like I said, I've really enjoyed that to be fair, uh, that was the closest ground that I had not done in the top 10 level, so very good to finally be able to tick it off. Um, like I say, it's always been one of them grounds that's just kind of, just not fell on the right day to go to, but it did today with um, a few circumstances, and I'm glad I went to it, to be fair, because it was a good game, good atmosphere, and, uh, you know, um, there were some other people who I knew who went as well, so it made it, uh, you know, good company as well. So thank you very much to Pontefract uh, for the hospitality. I'm sure we will meet again at some point, uh, which I'm looking forward to. And uh, for this video, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Whether you're an old or new viewer, any support is greatly appreciated by me. It goes a long way to helping the channel grow. Also, remember, vote for me in the Football Content Award if you haven't already. First link in the description, click there, and it's pretty simple. It takes about 10 seconds to do. Uh, so the next match on the channel is uh, actually today as I'm filming this. Um, so uh, the next day after the match um, on the Wednesday. So we've got Stavely minus Welfare versus Redford United. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.